Don't forget. Don't forget. Even though you're at home now, don't forget to brush your teeth every single morning. Wash your hands after using the bathroom and before you make food or eat food. Don't touch your face, cousin. <laughs> season is Australia experiencing right now? Here's a little clue. It has to do with the fact that Australia is in the southern hemisphere, whereas we are in the northern hemisphere. Have you figured it out? Since we are in the spring, Australia is in the fall. It is always going to be opposite because of the Earth's tilt on its axis. For more information, check out the video I have linked below.
So parents, just one quick disclaimer before we get these homeschooling tips and tricks to you. I just want you to know that I am barely holding it together. So all this homeschooling and working from home business, it is no joke. I totally get it. So there is no judgment here. We are in a judgment-free zone right here. And really, most importantly, kids, is I just need you to listen to your parents. They are working their hardest. They're doing their best. Listen to your parents. And um, with that, I hope some of these tips and tricks work out for y'all. Tip number one, get dressed on weekdays. It'll help you feel more productive. Uh, we're not ready for school. Hi, Devin. Dressed and ready for school. Tip number two, set up a workspace where you're not going to be easily distracted and where there's some good light to work by. Tip number three, keep a schedule. This could be an hourly schedule or it could be blocks of time that you mix and match as you need. But at any rate, kids, y'all should be able to keep a schedule. This shouldn't just be your parents' job. Tip number four, exercise or take brain breaks to break up the day. Plus, it'll get your blood moving. Two, three, four. Miss Washington would like to give a shout out to Jordan who walked all the other students through the steps on how to download Google Hangout Meets on their iPads. Thanks for being such great tech support, Jordan. Miss Baumgartner would like to shout out the following sixth graders, DeBraylin Randall for calling his classmates and walking them through getting connected and logged into Zoom, Zach Fuller for offering full service tech support to a classmate who was on Zoom but couldn't get his video connected, and then Zania Thompson, Jason Delgado, and Ruby Martinez for following directions and using Class Zoom channel to get the help they needed, and Aneth Uresti for answering. Finally, Dami Abioro and Valmarie Banks for supporting each other on Google Classroom. Great job being a great tech community, sixth grade. And Miss Temple would like to give a shout out to all the home artists that are making sure to do some fun art projects while we are all stuck at home. <laughs> Why did the chicken cross the road? to practice social distancing. Yeah! Use an avid cheer to celebrate someone in your home that's doing chores. Hey, Daddy took out the recycling. Thanks, Daddy. Not done yet. Share your at-home avid cheer video using the Google folder link below. I am a wild cat. I can do it. I do whatever it takes every single day. Roar! Hi, wild cats. Um, this is Mrs. Wall. And first of all, I miss you guys. I miss getting our high fives or our fist bump every morning. So double fist bump, double high five. Um, the other thing is that I am going to try to put out weekly announcements for us since we're not at school right now, but we are still at home and um, we should still be learning from home. So it's probably nice to start the day with maybe some announcements. And um, I will put a link to a Google Drive below 
And if you are interested in putting any of your accomplishments on the announcements, or if you um, have something fun at home that uh, is a great brain break, or like an avid cheer you've done for your family or something like that, and you would like that featured, um, please go ahead and um, put that, upload that to that drive, um, that link to that drive I have. So um, make sure that when you're filming, it's always in landscape, not portrait, and um, that your audio is up so that we can hear you, okay? Um, and of course, make sure it's school appropriate and that you have your parents' permission um, to be on YouTube since that's the platform we'll be using. Um, that's all I really have for this week. I miss you guys. I hope everyone is safe and well, and if you're not, please, please reach out to us. And um, hope you enjoyed the announcements for this week. See you again next week.